Hey folks, welcome back to my channel, Vegans Love Life. Today I actually have a Whole Foods haul for you because I ordered it and had it delivered this morning. So I ordered it last night. Um, it's only like $9.99 depending on when you want it delivered. I wanted it delivered just this morning because I did not want to leave the house um, to go shopping. And I know I said I was going to go to Trader Joe's, but... Really, when I looked around my pantry, the only thing I really needed was produce. So I thought Whole Foods would be a better choice because their produce seems to last a little bit longer than Trader Joe's, even though um, Trader Joe's is literally right down the street from me. But like I said, I had it delivered. So here it is for you. This is what I have this week and maybe next week I'll go to Trader Joe's, but I hope you like this haul. If you do like it, give it a thumbs up below. Let's get right into the it. The first thing I have here is this baby spinach. As I said, I was trying to get more produce than anything. Um, one of the reasons for that is I am trying to eat a lot healthier and like I said, Whole Foods just has produce that lasts a lot longer. But I got a bag of baby spinach. I pretty much get that every week whether I go to Trader Joe's or I go to Whole Foods. And then I got this coleslaw mix which um, I'm probably going to use for some wraps that I'm going to make this week to be a little bit more on the healthy side. I did get one cucumber here um, that I'm probably just going to snack on and I also still have carrots from last week which I'm going to just snack on this week. I got a bunch of bananas because I plan on freezing those and making some smoothies this week probably for my lunches just to take to work super easy. I grabbed a couple of apples probably to go with oatmeal in the morning. Not to add too much fat to my diet, so I'm trying to fill up on other things instead because one of my goals really is to lose weight this year. I did pretty great on eating last week, so I'm gonna try again to do even better, actually. I also grabbed some oranges. Um, I love oranges, these are huge. They will probably be eaten throughout the week I don't really eat like an, an entire orange in one sitting, um, especially when they're this big. I mean, you can get like those little ones, what are they called? I forget, oh, clementines. Oh, I don't like those. I don't know, there's something about the way they smell and taste. Nope, I don't like them. I like these navel oranges, these are my favorite. Um, I should mention, I most of this is probably not organic. Uh, actually, maybe about half of it is. Sometimes I try to get organic, depending on the price, but this week a lot of the prices were pretty outrageous, so I just stuck with whatever was the cheapest. This lemon here, I'm going to try to add a slice of lemon to water probably every morning. Sweet potatoes, I did grab two of those to keep in mind probably for a dinner that I'm probably going to have mostly every night, which is just going to be a wrap with black beans and maybe some sweet potatoes, coleslaw, we'll see. I'm trying to keep it very, very healthy and light this week because losing weight, believe me, is just such a struggle <laughs> when you're older. Um, in here I have some roasted red pepper hummus. This is my favorite flavor of hummus. This is probably just going to be just snack on for me. And what else do I have? I did get a big thing of blueberries because that will be uh, probably more so for my son. I'll probably eat some of those, but like I said last week, he goes through fruit so fast. And I also got, this is the only item on my list, these raspberries that actually got um, substituted. There was another set of raspberries that I had in my cart that was like much bigger, it was double the size of this and cheaper, but they didn't have that. So I grabbed these as a substitution and Whole Foods is pretty good about that. They will just reach out to you through a message and ask you if you want to substitute or you can just um, not get the item. So that's another good thing about the delivery service. And I did get, <sighs> let's talk about these crackers. These are amazing. 
there's so many crackers out there there's so many snacks out there that are vegan nowadays and i don't know sometimes i just forget that these exist because there's just so many new things that i try out but these are as far as crackers go probably the healthiest ones out there the simplest um i love them and i'm going to as i said snack on the hummus probably with these crackers they're so good if you haven't tried them if you're new to being vegan and you see all these other snacks out there go ahead and give these a try they're so good and i grabbed these whole wheat tortillas i was kind of like wanting like a low carb tortilla wrap but i know they have they used to have them at trader joe's but these are the only things i could find when I was looking online at Whole Foods, which are not, they're not low carb. Well, I guess they're, let's see. I mean, they're less carbs than the regular flour ones, so that's something. But there were these ones at Trader Joe's that are just, they're small and they're low carb, and I really liked them. I don't know if they still have them. I'll check next time I go, though. I did get a big, big bag of frozen broccoli. My son loves broccoli. I love broccoli. We'll use that this week. I got this head of red leaf lettuce, which I actually wish that I had gotten two of them. It looks so good. I can't wait to munch on that with um, probably with the black beans and the wrap for dinner with the sweet potatoes. It's going to be delish. And I do have black beans in my cabinet, so it's, I didn't need to buy those this week. And then probably the two fun things I have for myself. This. Go macro simple splendor it's a lemon flavor so good um you know i'm trying not to eat a lot of processed foods and sugary foods but i figure if i do really well this week this is my treat at the end of the week so that's that and then the other thing i want to mention for sure that i got for me is this i've never tried it i have no idea how to say that suja i don't know <laughs> let me know <laughs> if you know how to pronounce that but it's at Whole Foods um, it's one of those cold pressed juices and I have done juicing in the past and it hasn't worked out well I mean it didn't work out well in terms of you can't just I feel like you can't just drink juice all day and feel you know satisfied so this is not going to be one of those times where i just try to drink juice all day instead i will have this in the morning just to kickstart my day and have something super healthy going in it has apple celery cucumber kale collard greens i mean i looked at the um reviews online a lot of people say it's not as sweet um it has you know it has that earthy flavor but that's kind of what i'm going for i want something healthy less less sweet so that's that i'm gonna try to drink that every morning so that was everything really for me besides stuff i have in my pantry that i'll be eating throughout the week this stuff is probably all for my son none of this is anything i would really eat um he doesn't eat as healthy as I do. He does eat his veggies and he eats fruits, but yeah, I'm trying to get his diet a little bit better, but here we go. This is, I bought this last week. I got it again. It's his favorite mac and cheese, the Daya Cheddar Deluxe Mac and Cheese. So he's got that. I got him this. Um, this is his favorite oatmeal. I can make oatmeal, but he prefers this one, so... I got that. It's um, brown sugar maple, his favorite one. There is a Whole Foods brand one that is basically the same flavor. He likes that one too, but this one's like a dollar less. So I typically get this one and you can find this at Target as well. I also got his favorite pizza again, which I'm going to hide because I don't want him to see it just yet because he'll eat all this in one day. So he got this um, American flatbread vegan harvest pizza, which pizza, which I did say last week is just, it's probably the best vegan frozen pizza in my opinion. So I grabbed that and then I got these Z bars, which he'll probably take to school for his 
snacks this week. I still have some of that sun butter that I made, so I'm going to use that on this whole wheat sandwich bread for him for his lunches. And then last thing here that I got is this elbow macaroni, which I don't know why shape matters, but this is the shape he likes to eat. And that is really it, my friends. I will try to go to Trader Joe's sometime. <laughs> I'm not sure when, but um, yeah, that's it. Trying to eat healthy. It's a new year. I hope you're trying to reach your goals that you set out. I know a lot of people set out with these goals of eating healthier and buying more produce and eating more produce and eating all the vegetables. Let me know in the comments what your New Year's resolutions are and let's see if we have some similar ideas in mind, tips and tricks, anything you have. Go ahead and comment below, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. There's my kitty. It's probably always going to make it into one of my videos. All right. Happy New Year, folks.